Ooh, yum. Boom. <laughs> See, I love how the dancing happens on this side of the, yeah. of the room now. Well, there's I no dancing it. over here, though. Come I on. know. Come I on. need Back to get into my Foodie Friday jig. But Chef Steven Gonzalez <laughs> with the HB Cooking Connection live in our studio this morning making up some fantastic food. Yes. Good. It's getting cold. It's yeah. kind of getting warm. It's getting cold again. So in all those <laughs> times of it being cold, I wanted to be prepared for it. So we're continuing on with our uh, Mi Tierra Salsa and Soup promotion. Mm -hmm. We've also got our uh, Colombian Salsa going on as well, where with the salsas, you buy them two for eight bucks. By themselves, they're five ninety nine. So for a couple extra bucks, Grab a second one. With our soups and salsas over there, mm -hmm. they're two for twelve dollars. Now those are eight ninety nine by themselves. So for an extra three bucks, grab a second one. You know. Yeah. And they're pretty big too. Oh yeah. You're right. gonna get yes. your bang for your buck. They really are. So they say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Yeah. And we've got our meat theater. Tomatillo salsa right there in front of Derek. Uh -huh. So I figured let's make some breakfast. So we're making some migas. Um, if you've never had migas before, uh, they're fantastic. They're one of my favorite breakfasts. They remind me of growing up, you know, along the yeah, border. I was so gonna say this is my first time. This is uh, a little bit of some fried Ooh. corn tortillas, a little bit of some onions, some eggs, some cheese, and of course we're topping that off with our mi tierra salsa verde. Mm. Now. Again, Mi Tierra yeah. is a wonderful uh, Mexican restaurant back in San Antonio, and they serve some of the best food. And they mm -hmm. decided to put out some of their soups and salsas, so this is just a really good way to go. Mm. This is How's fantastic. that treating you? That's breakfast mm -hmm. or breakfast, mm -hmm. lunch, Amazing. and dinner. I mean, yeah, I, I can see that too, you know? Yeah. Of course. I love I, the you, flavors. Thank yeah. you. And, and yeah, it's just good. so simple to make, yeah. and of course, that's our theme in Cooking Connection, mm -hmm. keeping it simple keeping it delicious, making mm -hmm. sure that you all, you know, don't spend all day in the kitchen, but can still put out a really good right. breakfast, lunch, or dinner, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, switching gears, we're going to go from here to here. We're going to do a little bit of our Colombian salsa. So the salsa criolla, what we're doing is we're making like a pot roast, kind of like a uh, torta, if you will. This is fantastic. Some beans, some cheese. I made some pot roast, and I'm throwing some of this salsa with it because I wanted mm -hmm. to showcase just how delicious this is. And of course, pot we're roast. throwing it in a submarine roll. And a little bit of some guacamole, because who doesn't like guacamole? This you know? is too and good. the bread is so crispy. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, the, oh, I so love. sometimes you know when you go to a restaurant, you don't get it that crispy. Uh, I don't know if y'all at home can Ooh. hear the crunching of the bread, <laughs> but that's what I like whenever it comes crunch. to a, a hot mm -hmm. sandwich. I don't really do cold sandwiches anymore. I don't know. You know, I can't I, that, do cold sandwiches. Yeah, exactly. It has to be warm for me to eat it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yeah. I'm, I think it's safe to say we're all in the same boat, you yes. know? Yeah. So this was just a good, easy way to enjoy uh, some of these salsas. Now, of course, with these salsas, uh, beef, pork, chicken, seafood, vegetables, the list goes on and on. Uh, lower sugar, lower sodium. Mm -hmm. It's actually vegan friendly, too. Oh, so wow. there you go. there's a lot of different things that you can do with this uh, Colombian salsa. Are there beans in this? There is, Ooh, yes. Yeah, no, I like that. Yeah. I was looking at it, I was like, beans? <laughs> yes, we're adding a couple <laughs> extra layers of flavor just for fun. Now, to me, it's staying warm. We're adding these flavors, and uh, it just makes it heartier, you know? So oh, yeah. even though it might be in the 30s and warm up to, what, the 40s, 50s, yeah. it's still going to keep you nice and warm inside, you know? Yeah, yeah. exactly. It just makes me happy.